Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. I'm back today with another custom design tutorial and we're going to be focusing on this cute little scalloped cardigan sweater design. This is one of my favorite designs I've ever made, I think, and it's pretty popular on my Twitch channel for custom design redemption. So I have a redemption where I go to people's islands and put my custom designs up on the wall. And this is a pretty popular one. So I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to create this. Um, it is very, very easy to make, very beginner friendly. So if you don't have much experience making custom designs, I think this is a good one to get started with if you are looking to make make a little bit more detailed design. So apart from that, if anyone has any suggestions or requests on what to do next, feel free to comment them, but let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So go ahead and pick your sweater design. We're going to go ahead and choose this default color palette as well. This is just gonna make it a little bit easier to describe what I'm doing. And you're going to go ahead and turn on your symmetry tool. So you can see it in the bottom right corner. That is the trigger you need to press to enable it. And we're going to go ahead and start off with this red color first. We're going to start off where the line of the fabric starts. And we're going to go ahead and go down six pixels. And then we're going to go ahead and make this different sort of design across the cardigan part of the sweater and this is giving that scalloped look. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and once we're about three pixels above the bottom we're going to end the cardigan and we're going to also make a pocket on the cardigan with this same exact color. So once you're done making that really nice scalloped edge on the cardigan, we're going to make this little pocket. I think it looks cute and you're just going to meet it at the top. And then we're going to move on to the collar of the sweater and this is going to be the beginning of the lace collar. So you're going to start at the top with this orange color and then you're going to put a couple of pixels around the edge just like I'm doing here and this just acts as a shadow um, for the other color that we're going to add in a second. And the yellow color is going to act as the little holes in the lace collar. So now we're starting on our little collar tie and this is going to have a couple of embellishments on it. So just make your way down the color palette choosing the lime green, dark green, and the blue to complete that towards the middle of the collar. And then right in the middle again underneath that collar we're going to start on our buttons and we're using three different colors for this um pretty self-explanatory just uh a bunch of different colors add to the dimension like i said again makes it a little bit more detailed and we're going to take this pink color and start filling in the collar with our bucket tool and then we're using the three wide pixel on the bottom and then adding a couple of lines to act as little folds in the fabric we're also going to shade around the buttons and then a little bit underneath the, the collar as well. From here, we're gonna take the fill bucket and start filling in portions of the cardigan. So we're doing the front shirt and then the cardigans with the peach and the brown. And then we're going to go to the back and outline with the red color like we did on the front here. So, just using the color selector, if you use the left and right trigger, you can select any color you want to when you're hovering a pixel over it. And we're going to also use the fill tool to fill in the top and the bottom with the pink and then the brown in the middle. And then in a second, we're going to take the white color and start using that as a shader around the collar. And if you need to, like I said before, just make sure that you are pausing the video or slowing down the video using YouTube settings. And feel free to go at your own pace. This is in two times speed, so it's not the easiest to follow along with. But now we're going to the front and shading the collar and the pocket area near the bottom of the cardigan. And now we're moving on to the sleeve. So 
So we turned on our symmetry tool to make it easier on ourselves and we're taking the pink near the bottom of the sleeve and making a sort of scalloped edge with the red now and it's the same sort of pattern as before so just follow that along and then we're filling the top to be brown just like the front and back of the sweater and now we're taking the white sort of area on the sleeve and filling it in with the yellow. And now we're gonna flip and copy it. You don't have to do it twice. Just use the swap and copy option in the Pro Designer. And from here on out, we are now just focusing on changing the colors. So the colors don't have to be the exact same as what I'm doing, but if you want them to be similar, I've left this portion in so that you can sort of copy the same hue, vividness, and brightness. But if you want to, just choose your own colors. It, you just kind of have to play around with the different color palette colors to make it look how you envisioned it. Um, so the only reason I do it in this default color first is so that it's a little bit easier to follow along. It's a little bit harder to follow along if I already pick my color palette and just use different similar types of brown. So from here on out, you kind of just do what you want to do. And that's, that's the best part about it is making designs that you want to wear yourself and making things that are unique. So feel free to copy this, but you don't have to. Most of the colors in this design are going to be this sort of brown, tannish color, but the ones that you want to make sure are a little bit more golden or, you know, silver or whatever color you want to do are the ones at the bottom of the tie near the collar and then also the buttons. So those are meant to be I guess some sort of metal color, which is why I went with gold. But like I said, you can do whatever you want, uh, but those are really the only ones that really differ from the rest of the color palette. You can also take this just base design and kind of switch it up a little bit. So if you wanted to, you could do the scalloped edge a little bit closer to the middle. You could put it on the bottom of the cardigan as well. You can add little details like flowers or stars or anything that you really like. Um, I think that there are so many possibilities for this little design and I just went ahead and named mine a scalloped cardigan. And here is my second character wearing it. Um, and another thing that you can do that I'm about to show is you can actually just copy the design instead of making it again and you just do copy and put it on another slot and you can change the design without having to do it all over again. So I'm going in and I'm just going to pick the different colors using the left and right trigger and I'm just going to change the hue a little bit. So I went and did a bunch of different color combinations. Like right now I'm doing a burgundy variation of the sweater, which I think is really cute. I think it would be really nice for fall time. Um, but you basically can just go through and change it however you want to without deleting the original one or having to write over that one so i'm just showing a couple of different variations of what you can do and i do have different colors in the kiosk under my creator code um but they have frogs on them so uh this one is just plain so if you want to make one yourself you can totally do so Thank you everyone so much if you have watched the tutorial up until now. I hope it was easy enough to understand. If not, please feel free to let me know what I can do better. Um, but if you recreate it, please tweet it at me. My Twitter is in the description. I would love to see it and show it off. Um, but I hope everyone has an amazing, amazing day. I'll probably be live on Twitch most likely uh, this week. So if you want to come watch, feel free to come join us. But bye everyone. See you in the next video.